Hi there, it's Pam Brosman here from a Social Marketing Channel, and I almost forgot my own TV channel there for a minute. You're on the other side of the world. That's okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm here. And, and Steve. And Steve on the other side of the camera. I am here with the beautiful Gail Goodwin from the Inspire Me Today, and I am so proud to have her on the show today. Now, as of about seven days ago, I had never met this woman, and I was fortunate enough to come around the world and meet her. Yay. And she's here to tell us about something amazing that she's doing, and I'm really excited about it, and she's going to share with us a project that she's been... How long have you been organising your project? Since about the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year, and it's becoming bigger than been uh, here, isn't it? Fabulous. Can you please share with all these people who are watching today the wonderful, amazing project that you're doing? It's okay. I have to put one from behind. Okay. Well, what I want to talk about is the Global Hug Tour. For those of you that have not yet been to the website, please go globalhugtour.com. Basically what it is, is it's our way to hug, love, unite, and share with the world. And basically what that means is anybody can go to the website and for $10, sponsor a hug. You choose where you want your hug physically delivered. My husband and I are jumping in a small, single-engine prop plane. I know, a little crazy, flying 31,000 miles around the world on a six-month tour to bring love, hope, and inspiration around the world. It's kind of a fun project because you can go sponsor that hug, any hug you want, anywhere you want in the world that we're going. When we get off that airplane, not only will we personally hug 2,000 people at each and every one of these locations, but here's the cool part. Suppose Bob in Kansas buys a hug for $10 and he might want to send it, say, to Chennai, India. When we get to Chennai, India, every person I hug will get a little sticker that says, you're loved, you've been hugged by the Global Hug Tour, It'll have the URL, it'll also have a unique passcode, every sticker different, so that Bob in Kansas gets connected by email to, say, Naresh in India, and their email addresses are swapped. So our backyard just got a whole lot smaller. We have that global connectivity. In addition, and here's the, really, the part that I get really excited about, is Bob's whole $10 goes directly to the charity that he's chosen, and if he chose Chennai, India, it would go to Dr. Mani's Children's Health Institute, where Dr. Mani is doing heart surgery for children, and for the price of 100 hugs, or $1,000 US, it'll save the life of a child. Wow. I mean, we've, we've chosen charities all around the world that specifically have tangible projects, tangible needs, knowing that 100% of your $10 is going right to that cause. So for example, in Chicago, one hug will feed three homeless people. Whereas in uh, Siam Reap, Cambodia, two hugs will educate a child for a year. So that's the project. I'm very, very proud to have you on my yes, channel. Can I be giving hugs? Oh, yeah. that is That'll awesome. cost you ten dollars. <laughs> now, <laughs> ten dollars. Oh, look, I've got more than ten dollars that I'm going to be donating to this hug, and I know there's a lot of people who are going to be watching this channel who are going to want to donate ten dollars because Perfect. what you're doing is amazing. And we're now, coming to Australia as well. I know, and I'm very excited about yeah. that. So I'm going to be plugging that. Now, you just told and shared with me. A story that just touched my heart straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing with Inspire Me today is impacting a lot of people's lives and can you please share with us a story about some of the emails, private personal sure. emails that you've received from people who you've touched with this program? Well Inspire Me today is our main company and basically what it is is it is a website that each and every day has fresh content from someone amazing in the world and it may be like Richard Branson will be one that we're interviewing. We've already had you know, Jack Canfield, most of the people from The Secret. The major teachers, the major thought leaders are all on there already. And we ask them, if today were your last day, Pam, last day on the planet, you have 500 words to leave to humanity, what have you learned about life? What would wow. you say? Would so I if say? you're feeling a little bit bummed, a little bit down and out, or maybe you're flying high, but you need to fly just a little bit higher, go there each and every morning and read that. And we reach people in about, uh, last count it was about 121 different countries are members of our site that come and people read this each and every day and it just kind of empowers and gives them that little bit of a boost. And what so, about the, la the lady and the lives that you've changed and saved? You know, using... it's, you don't realize the impact that you have with Twitter in reaching out to people and some people use it specifically just as a marketing tool with, here's my website, go buy this product. And it gets a little bit annoying I guess for some of us mm. you know that be real talk to me mm. answer me if I'm gonna write to you please have the courtesy to write back to me at least respond acknowledge it's like if I walked up to you at a conference mm -hmm. and said hi Pam how are you and you yeah. went 
come and buy my product. I know, or, or just walked <laughs> yeah. away. It's yeah. kind of like, hello. Yeah. It's I'm very, here. Very You're disturbing. here for a reason. That's right. And Twitter is the same thing. It may be virtual, but we're here to reach out to each other. And so I've had people that'll tweet me and say, oh my gosh, you're the first person who's ever like responded back to me when I wrote to you. And it's kind of, it's surprising to me because for me that's the whole reason to be there, is I'm there to connect with people. We've used Twitter specifically for the Global Hug Tour to contact tribes of people all over the country, all over the world, and, and have them be our hug ambassadors in those specific regions. And so it has just, it has opened my world globally and it has deepened connections with people. I mean, I've met amazing, wonderful people, one sitting over there, that I never would have met had it not been for Twitter. And I met you if Absolutely. I hadn't had the same Twitter thing. connected us, didn't exactly. it? Exactly. Which is very exciting, so, and I feel empowered that I can help share your message, because what you're doing you. out there is really important. It's changing people's lives, and that's the power of using social marketing. So maybe you can start thinking about how you, if you're giving back to somebody, or you're wanting to help somebody out there in the community, the power of virally getting your message out there using these social mm -hmm. mediums is very, very powerful. And the one thing I guess I really want to help you stress there is you never know who that tweet is going to reach and the impact that it's going to have in their lives. I've had three different times where people have emailed me over the last couple of months. I make my email address readily available. It's gail at inspiremetoday.com. But three different people have emailed and said, I was planning on jumping off a bridge this morning until I saw that tweet. Wow. And it made that kind of an impact in a life. So it's like life. What you put out is what you're going to get back. So tweet nice. Thank you so much for you're sharing welcome. that with us. And it, once again, if anybody wants to make a donation, how do they? Globalhugtour.com. There you go. I'll be making yeah. a donation. And I know that a lot of my friends and family will be making a donation. We're very looking forward to having you Thank in Australia. You. Now, quickly before you go, we yes. have the 60-second sizzle where we're going to ask you some sizzling questions. Okay. And you have Bring to wear this Australian oh, right. Hat. That makes you look absolutely gorgeous. And I've got your questions here. Okay, so let's run with it. I like this. What has been your biggest online blooper? Oh, biggest online blooper. Oh, that would be when I was first learning Twitter and I put my home address and phone number in a tweet to someone oh. and it went public. Oh. And I was like, no! Oh, How am I going to get that out of there? It was yeah. my cell phone and my home address. Oh. I tweeted to someone. And I didn't at that time know the difference between public and private. There you go. I learned. Never, never <laughs> Twitter your personal details online. Okay, if you could invite three people to a digital dinner, who would you invite and why? Does it have to be digital? Oh, no, I can't you, can it it, you can do it in person, but we well, kind of think globally. If you want to, you know, catch up and do it digitally, you can still do it. Richard Branson is obviously, without a doubt, number one. Yeah. I promise not to wear the hat. <laughs> uh, second one would be Guy Laliberte, founder of Cirque du Soleil and founder of the oh. One Drop Foundation. And the third would be the Dalai Lama. Oh, Dalai Lama. So very, I'll, I'll very take the three good. Of them. We're going to have a really rocking dinner. I reckon. <laughs> I don't know about the Dalai Lama on the digital. I don't know if you'll know how to push the button. We'll figure it out. If you could become, a, become someone on Facebook for a day, who would it be and why? One person on Facebook that really stands out and jumps out at you, who would you like to be? I love being me. Well, there I, you I, go. I, I mean, I don't mean that in an arrogant no. sense in any way, but I there's not somebody else that I want to be. Well, you know what? I would have said you as oh, well. You know why? Because of what you're doing is amazing. I love what I'm doing. And I wouldn't want to change your spot either. Yeah. So I reckon that was a very good answer. And last but not least, yes. if Twitter was to close down tomorrow, uh -huh. no you, biz. It's never going to do because we all love Twitter. What would you want the last tweet about you to say? And you've only got 140 characters. Uh, that's so easy to answer. Contact information where we can stay in touch. Wow. It would, it would be absolutely contact information. Okay. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so You're much. Can I have a hug? Thank you. Well, that's $20 Woo! now. There you go. <laughs> this she is... gets to pick which charity it goes to. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. That'll be the McGraw Foundation because I support women with breast cancer. Excellent. So that's where Excellent. mine will be going. And this is Pam and Gail signing out from the Social Marketing Channel. Bye for now. Thanks. Appreciate being here.